Hello good day viewers. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the solution for simultaneous linear equations graphically. In one of my previous lessons, I have shown you how to graph a linear equation, which is always a straight line graph. So to find the solution for simultaneous linear equations, first of all, we are going to graph the first equation, graph the second equation on the same graph, the point at which the two graphs intersect. The coordinate at that point will determine the solution for these simultaneous linear equations. First of all, let us transform each equation into slope-intercept form. A slope-intercept form is written as y equal to mx plus c, where m is the slope. Rise over run and c is the y intercept which is the value of y where the graph touches the y axis so first equation we have equation one and this is equation two so we are going to transform each of these two equations into this form by making y the subject of the equation so the first one we have 2y minus 3x equals negative 6. We are going to take this term to the right hand side which is going to transform it into positive. We have 2y equals 3x minus 6. To get y we are going to divide each term by 2 therefore y equals 3 over 2x minus 3. Hence we can say for our slope m let me call this one m1 because we have another equation. Equals 3 over 2. And c1, which is y-intercept for this, we have negative 3. Now let us transform the other equation into this form. The second equation is 2y minus x is equal to 2. If you take x to the right hand side, it becomes positive. So we have 2y equals x plus 2. Divide both sides by 2. We have y equals 1 over 2x plus 1 if you divide 2 by 1. Hence, we say m2, the slope of the second equation, is equal to 1 over 2. And c2, the y-intercept of the second equation, is positive 1. So y-intercept and the slope are enough for us to construct graph of each equation. So now let us graph them. So now here is our y and x planes where we are going to plot the two graphs. For the first graph, this is what we need. We need the slope and the intercept. So we are going to locate intercept first, which is negative 3. You see on the y-axis, we have negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. This is our y-intercept. Then our slope, rise over run, we have 3 over 2, meaning we are going to go up. If it is negative, we go down. If it is positive, we go up along y-axis. So we have 3. So we are going to move off 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we move to the right 2 times, 1, 2. This is another point. These two points are enough for us to construct this graph, but for more accuracy, you can plot other points. So you, from here you go off three times, one, two, three. Then you move to the right two times, one, two. This is our next point. You go off one, two, three. Then you move to the right, one, two. Here is our graph, straight line graph. My hand will, is not that accurate. So this is the graph of 2y minus 3x equals negative 6. Then let us plot the other one, which is the second graph. The second graph, we have our y-intercept to be equal to 1, positive 1. This is positive 1. Then our slope is 1 over 2, meaning we go off 1, we go to the right twice. We go up 1, we go to the right twice, 1 and 2. This is our point. We go up 1, we go to the right twice, 1, 2. This is another point. 
we go up one, we go to the right twice, one, two. So these points are enough for us to construct this graph. It is not that accurate. And this is the graph of the second equation, which is 2y minus x is equal to 2. So the point of intersection is this. So what is the coordinate here? The coordinate here, we start with x. This is the value of x, and this is the value of y. For x, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4, comma. Then for y, we have 1, 2, 3. This is 3. So it means that the solution for this simultaneous linear equations are x and y equals we have 4 and 3. To testify, you can check this into the main equations. You can see that 2 times y, meaning 2 times 3, is equal to 6 minus 3 times x, meaning 3 times 4 is 12. 6 minus 12 is negative 6. Hence, we say this is the real solution for this simultaneous linear equation. Transforming the two equations into slope-intercept form is not the only way for you to construct the graph of these equations. Other ways you can find x-intercept, find y-intercept. Those two points are enough for you to construct this graph. Let me show you. Let us first of all use the first equation. Y-intercept of the first equation, meaning the value of y when x is 0. If you set x is equal to 0, you are going to obtain 2y minus 0 is nothing, is equal to negative 6. Hence, if you divide both sides by 2, you obtain y equals negative 3. The coordinate at that point is 0, comma, negative 3 because x is 0 and y is negative 3. And you can set y to be equal to 0 in order to obtain the corresponding value of x. If this is equal to 0, you have only negative 3x equals negative 6. Dividing both sides by negative 3, x will be equal to positive 2. Hence, the other coordinate is um, 2, comma, 0. These two points are enough for you to construct this graph. Uh, you look at when x is 0, this is when x is 0. Then y is negative 3, this is y equals to negative 3. This is the first point. Then for the second point, when, when y is 0, x is positive 2. You see, this is positive 2 on the line. Then these two points are enough for you to construct this straight line graph. Then you do the same to the next equation in order to find the coordinates that you can use in order to plot the straight line graph. And another way you can do that, you can float a table of values for x equal to 0, 1, 2. When x is 0 for this first equation, you can see that y is equal to negative 3 if you divide both sides by 2. So this is negative 3. When x is equal to 1, you can see that we have 2y minus 3 because negative 3 times 1 is still negative 3. And to the right, we have negative 6. If you take this term to the right hand side, it becomes positive. So we have 2y equals 3 minus 6. 2y is equal to negative 3. If you divide both sides by 2, you obtain y equals to negative 3 over 2. Negative 3 over 2. When x is equal to 2, this time this is negative 6. If you take it to the right, you have negative 6 plus positive 6 is 0. Divide both sides by 2, you obtain 0. So this point, these are the coordinate. When x is 0, y is negative 3, you locate it there. When x is 1, y is negative 3 over 2, you locate it there. When x is 2, y is 0, you locate it there. You connect the three points together. You're going to obtain this straight line graph. You do the same to the next equation. Obtain your values, plot them on the same graph. The point of intersection between the first and the second graph will determine the solution for this simultaneous linear equations. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.